Hi you guys and welcome back to the Creme Kitchen. As most of you know, it has been football season all winter and Super Bowl is right around the corner. So I'm gonna make a buffalo bacon wrapped tater tot. All of us in the household love buffalo, buffalo anything. So I thought it'd be a really cute idea to get some of this going. I've seen lots of different recipes out there for different types of tater tot bombs, but I thought it'd be fun to do it buffalo style. So what I have here is a 28 ounce bag of frozen tater tots and I've just kind of laid them on a cookie sheet for convenience. The next thing I want you to do is get one package of bacon, regular cut bacon. And this is a pound package. I want you to grab a few slices and lay them out on a cutting board and I want you to cut them into thirds. It's like a really rough package of bacon. <laughs> it's like not one piece is uniform. Once you have your bacon cut, I want you to get your favorite buffalo sauce. And I want you to put a little bit in a bowl because this is where things get really fancy. Take a piece of your bacon that you've cut up, you dip, and then you wrap. And then I want you to lay that seaming side down on your cookie sheet. If you don't want to get your hands messy, you can use gloves too. At the same time, I want you to know, my oven is being preheated to 400 degrees. And when these are in the oven, baking away, we're gonna have a really fun dipping sauce for them because, you know, condiments, we like them over here. These really are the worst pieces of bacon. I'm back. In the meantime, I spilled a little buffalo on my belly, so just ignore that part of it. We got 30 wrapped tater tots here. You're gonna get anywhere from one pound package of bacon, you're gonna get anywhere from 35 to 40 tater tots. Now you will have some left over, so you can either put them back in the freezer for next time or get another pound of bacon and do a ton. Let's get these into our 400 degree oven. While those are baking away, we're gonna make the most amazing dipping sauce. A lot of times you're gonna get offered ranch or blue cheese with anything buffalo. In my family, there's only maybe two of us, three at most that likes blue cheese. I'm one of them. A good substitute, a nice mild crumbly cheese is feta. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. So let's get started. I want you to start off by using three quarters of a cup of your favorite sour cream. I changed my mind, you guys. I'm gonna do one cup of sour cream. I had an idea in my head and then it was fleeting and then it went out that way. So I'm gonna mix it up a bit. To your sour cream, I want you to add a nice rounded tablespoon of dry ranch mix. Nicely rounded, see? Then to this combination, I want you to add a quarter cup of milk. I'm using 2%. Anything 2% or above, like whole milk, would be great. Next, we're gonna add a quarter cup of feta crumbles. A pinch of crushed red pepper. And then we stir to combine all of this. And what I wanna do after I get all the ingredients combined, you wanna get it in the fridge, cover it up, and put it in the fridge for at least 15, 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to turn halfway and some of the tater tots are unraveling a little bit. I'm telling you what, this thing of bacon was probably, like I said at the beginning, one of the worst to use for this, but we'll make do, I'll show you what to do. <laughs> Did I get them all, do you think? No, not that one. That was literally the worst package of bacon. I'm gonna write him a stern letter. I actually did once. Okay, so crisis averted. Is that the right word? Yeah. Okay, just flip those little suckers over and stab them with a tooth. <laughs> stab them with a toothpick. And I tell you what, it'll also help taking out that aggression. 
from finding them flipped over and unraveling because I wasn't. You were happy. So I turned them, I put them back into the oven and we'll just wait for them to crisp up and get done. Now, depending on how you like your bacon cooked, it's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes. Mine's done, so I'm gonna take it out. We wanna take it out and we do want it to cool a little bit. While we are letting our tots rest, I'm gonna prepare a few garnishes for our plated appetizer. I want you to peel a couple carrots, wash and rinse some green onions and parsley. I've got curly parsley here and then some fresh dill. I like cutting nice size, different size carrots, and I like them really thin too. We just wanna get these off the cookie sheet so they don't stick. You don't want them to cool completely. We have our carrots cut. We have our green onions chopped. And now I want you to just cut off a little bit of this fresh parsley, mince that up as well. We're at the finish line, okay? And I do like my parsley really, really minced. It makes you feel much better when you put fresh herbs and vegetables on your plate full of bacon and potatoes. And now for the dill. Now there's a couple ways that you can plate this and I'll show you both ways. You want an adorable little serving platter just like this is. And this is a little small for all of these, but it's kind of for show. I want you to get two dishes out. One is for this. So then you're gonna take your sauce, put a nice couple scoops. So I always like to garnish with a little bit of what's already in there. That way people know, and it's really pretty. Okay, so there's that. Then you have your potatoes. Look at these tater tots. Who doesn't love a good tot? Now, you can do these individually, and I would do individual with the ones that were really naughty and we had to stab, okay? Get yourself a cute little toothpick and just stab away. The other fun thing you can do with these little guys is you can skewer them, like so. Next, you sprinkle. You gotta get some of that on there. And then, you plate your veggies. You've got your bacon, you've got your tater tot. It's a buffaloed to the max. Now we just need somebody to eat it. And I might be able to find some people here. I, he's got hair, oh, can you take that off please? It will show up, it'll show up. Yeah, it, that hair as you know shows up on camera. All right, are we ready? I have two of my best taste testers right here. You guys have a great, safe, fun Super Bowl Sunday. It's coming up right around the corner. Go Chiefs! Anyway, you guys, thanks so much. Don't forget, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Lots of fun things happening on our website. Look forward to another great appetizer recipe coming up soon, and we will see you guys later. What do you think? So good. No, right? <coughs> very good. Yeah? Yes, very good.